Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another round of Hadaraiju's Let's Play Spyro Enter the Dragonfly. We're going to turn the volume down a bit here. There we go. Because, quite frankly, I don't think you can hear the sound of my lovely, lovely voice over all that back lovely, lovely, lovely er background music. Cloud9's background music is pretty darn beautiful, to be honest. Hmm, looks like there's nothing up here. Yes, Cloud9 is probably one of the best designed areas of the game in terms of sheer, uh, how do I put this? In terms of the music, in terms of the aesthetics, in terms of just blending everything together into a workable, well-designed, and very coherent environment. Oop, hello. Goodbye. <laughs> I think you heard me. Get back here, you little orange turd. Come on. Okay, there we are. That one's so bad. Hey, it's Ice Boy. Good. Go get me some ice. We killed the dinosaurs. Oh shit, it's that guy. So, we're going to be heading further down Cloud Nine. Hmm. Not sure if I mentioned this already, but this area always reminded me of... Bye-bye. The City in the Sky from Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Maybe one was modeled after the other. It's got very similar aesthetics in terms of the architecture around you. Although the actual gameplay is very, very different, and the background music is also very different, since uh, Twilight Princess is a slightly more, uh, how do I put this, realistic quote-unquote game than this one, it has a somewhat different tone as a result of being this thing high, high, high up in the sky, and more importantly than that, as a character who has no hope of flying <laughs> on his own. What the heck? Help, it's cold. Woo <laughs> he was frozen. The heck's with this guy? This guy's supposed to be like Care Bears or something. But they're not doing anything. These lightning clouds are electrifying the pools. Well, Can so you use your super flame breath to get rid of them? Use the portal to power up your flame breath and get it to work. So you're not gonna do anything, huh? Care bear my ass, you guys are the apathy bears. The I don't care bears. <laughs> Ooh, that's you down, that's you down, and that's you down. And that's... Oh, there's one more. Yeah, I know, I know, this part of the game is a little slow. But it is quite pretty. I'll give it that much. The Super Flame Breath abilities are very handy in this part. That wasn't so hard at all. Great job, Spyro. While you were taking care of the clouds, I found this flying thing stuck in one of them. Bullshit! You were sitting right here the whole time. Hey, it's Takahiro. I don't get that reference. If that Can is a reference. Can you swim to the next machine? I'm too scared of the water. The lame-ass Care Bears. So, you know, I never actually saw the. I just realized I never watched the Care Bears when I was a kid ever, and I still haven't to this day. Huh. Anyways. I guess this is a bit like a, whoa, Luau Island back there, and that there's an underwater section that you're going to need to use to get to the next area. I'm not sure, I don't remember if this becomes a pattern or not, but I don't think it ever gets as, uh, as extreme as it is with Luau Island, where pretty much every, well, almost every area that you need to use to access the next area is underwater. So that's that pot down. Anymore? Oh ho! Hello! It's a floating one! And. Smasho! Crasho! Basho! Hmm. Anything up there? Nope. You know, it's when Shadow. When Spyro moves. When Shadow moves. <laughs> I was watching a, an LP of Shadow the Hedgehog this morning, so. When Spyro moves like that, it actually makes him look a bit like he's saying, Oh shit! Oh shit! I need air! I need air! <laughs> Which is a little odd because he doesn't. Hmm. Does Spyro have gills? Or do dragons just naturally not need air? Or maybe there's magic of some kind supplying the air to his lungs? I don't know. At any rate. This. And that. And this. And if there's some reason behind this that I don't know about, like uh, Spyro has never really needed air, because... But that we've seen it in a previous game, feel free and tell me because... I've never actually played a Spyro game before this one, and to date, this remains the first, last, and what the heck? 
Wooga 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 wooga. <laughs> First, last, and only Spyro game I have ever played in my life. So. Whoops. Missed that one. Into the drink. Glub, 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 glub. So, where do we go from here? Air. Blessed, glorious air. Air, glorious air, glorious. Wait a minute, yeah. We're gonna jump and. Oh, no, wait a minute, I should be able to grab onto the air. No! Come on. Did somebody just get electrocuted? Hmm, <laughs> somebody is. I've got my electric breath on. Zeppity zeppity rattly rattly. Okay, I've got a few other questions. Spyro's, the tip of Spyro's tail is apparently supposed to look like a rattlesnake's is what I'm guessing. And my question is, does Spyro ever actually use that tail as a rattlesnake? Is there like a death rattle move in later games or earlier games? Hmm. Whoops. And I realize that this makes me sound like a bad nerd for not really knowing too much about this game that... Well, this franchise that I'm playing, but the truth is, I... There's... I just never really got around to playing any other Spyro games, mainly because I never really had a PS1. There we go. Oh, no, you don't. Down she goes. Into the clouds. Hey, buddy! How all those wings work? Ha ha ha! What's this? Why it appears to be an electrical charge. Machine. Thingy. My bobber. Alrighty, so that's one, two. Oh, th four. All four of those things are working now. So that powers up that giant uh, hourglass machine, which does what? The guys said that it helps them sleep somehow, but maybe it's because, uh,. It regulates time up in Cloud Nine. Maybe it moves Cloud Nine around, and it go when it goes over to the opposite side of the world, it's nighttime, and when it goes over to this side, it's during the day. And uh, who knows? At any rate, we don't want to go through that end of the game portal just yet. They always put them in odd spots. Hey, Mr. Bear, Mr. Bear, 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 over there. What's up? Thanks for the help, Spyro. Here's a dragonfly for you. I don't need it. Hey, it's red. Why do I have a Midwestern accent? Did we all have these? It doesn't quite seem likely. Hmm. At any rate, where are we going next? Why, we're going right back to the beginning of the level. Just like we always do in these darn Spyro games. In, these, in this darn l in this darn singular spiral game. Singular! Singular! Don't mess with the plural. Oop. Kind of a tight squeeze here, but we can make it. So, where are we going from here? Why, well, we're going out here. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is... Hmm, nothing there. And more than that, there's nothing there either. Forward! We can move forward in order to get to this next part. Hello, shiny, shiny, sparkly gems. That's the thing about this, these games. On the one hand, you have to go all over to find these stupid gems, but on the other hand, thanks to those shiny bits and the fact that they're pretty large and easy to find, it's not as big a pain in the neck as you might think otherwise. So, there we are. That's the whole thing. That's, uh... Hmm. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute here. This doesn't seem right. You know what? Dive bomb! He couldn't believe it! <laughs> Frozen! <laughs> Holy shit, that dragon almost hit me! Okay, we're back, and I think I know exactly where to go now. Up the... Okay, wait a minute. Is it here? No. Why, a matter of fact, it's here. See that ladder there? That leads directly into the clock tower. Yes, this is the main clock tower of this area, and I guess it's important or something, even though... Nope. Hey, it's Goose. It's Goose on the loose! Hmm. Well, this is the clock... Oops. This is the clock tower, even though it doesn't appear to be working. 
giant orange and green blobs on the floor there, and if you're wondering whether that has anything to actually do with dragonflies you might be catching or anything useful, well, it's it doesn't. It doesn't really at all. Ooh, hello, shiny, shiny, shinies coming out of the wall. What do we have in here? 